joining us in another segment of our D&D Attack Wing product review. I am Timothy Adams, your host, Vice President and Chief Product Officer for Geek Corps Productions. Um, just so you know, the videos recently are on the D&D Attack Wing because it was a recent release. But you can expect different videos on different geeky things, maybe me and my family at a convention, me and my D&D home campaign or running in expeditions uh, like I did for the D&D Extra Life. I also run OP events for uh, Star Trek Attack Wing and now starting with the D&D Attack Wing here. So I'm going to open this right in front of your eyes. I know that I had mentioned before I wasn't going to bother you with that, but I want to be the first to share with you what I see. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it open right now with a pair of scissors. They don't make it very easy to be able to open this product which is a good safety measure, but man, is it tough. Um, they have a life hack video that I've seen where it's using a can opener. I don't know, maybe my can opener sucks, but there we go. Uh, it didn't work. I thought it would have been cool. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, $14.99 price point uh, right here. Um, the Sun Elf Wizard in its packaging. The expansion pack letting you know what it is and how... Uh, the artwork is just, I can't get over it. It's really, really nice. So well done. Uh, it's a great price point. I keep harping on that. Uh, all the wonderful things. It's very sturdy. And you do get a lot for what you pay for. So let's go ahead and open that up. Oop, I didn't cut right one. So, of course, we're going to pull out the, the um, ooh. Wow, look, there's a lot of die cut tokens in this one. I'm sure this is for an adventure. I am very excited to see what that is all about. Let's place it off to the adventure. Um, to the uh, side there. And then here's the contents. One adventure booklet all the way down to the campaign artifact upgrade card. So very cool. And of course, what we can expect from WizKids, plus container throw away. Uh, the sleeve shows all the different expansion packs. I haven't shown this to you before. Sun Elf Troop, like the Hobgoblin Troop. The review of the Hobgoblin Troop. Ballista, Green Dragon, Frost Giant, Wraith, and of course, the three dragon starter sets. If you haven't picked them up, start now. Uh, here is the packaging for the ground troops for this. The base pegs, I'll show you how those work if you haven't seen it before. And here is the miniature. It is just like the miniature in the starter set for the Icons of the Realms, except they did a lot better with this product. I don't know why they didn't put so much emphasis. I'm hoping the new release slated for March of next year, the set of miniatures are so much better. Um, the base, you can't read what they are. These are stamped on them. As you can see, uh, it tells you exactly what it is. Um, they don't have that. It's all painted over. I'll be honest with you, the Icons of the Realm miniatures, I'm a little disappointed on, especially for $16 and coming from NECA. Uh, I saw the Pathfinder minis that they did, and they are so, so wonderful. The Icon of the Realms, I'm a little disappointed in them. But, of course, you know, I'm a collector, and I love D&D, and I'm a big supporter of the company. Um, I love, overall, what WizKids does, don't get me wrong, but I have to be honest. The, the miniatures are just not that good. So, I'll do another review on them and show you exactly what I mean. But in the meantime, we're going to focus on the D&D Attack Wing product promo here and I'm going to open these up take them out and see what we've got here again here is an adventure book uh, if you haven't seen before this is adventure 3.3 the toll of the dead alarum I'm not too sure what that is but it's a trifold booklet that uh, tells you what you need to do the setup and the adventure synopsis of how to do the co-op or the head-to-head -head mission. Uh, the Star Trek Attack Wing does cards. Here they do a booklet. Now here are the cards. Let's see if we can find them. There's the maneuver templates. Okay, here is one elf and here is the basic elf and here are the upgrade cards. So let's put these in order and take a look here. This is your standard one, 15 point cost. Uh, attack only one, agility three, um, health two, Armor zero. It is level six elven spellcaster. 
Uh, then let's see. Ooh, cost 29. That's a significant jump. 14 points, almost double. Uh, Nemestra, Sun Elf Wizard, one attack, three agility, but four health. Each of your arcane spell upgrades costs minus one legion point. Nice. Then, of course, we have the maneuver templates. Ooh, she can do a white one uh, face about. That's her fly, because she she's an elf, I'm sure, and a wizard. And then, ooh, she can do that. So we can see these are really cool. And then, of course, she has fireball, leadership, elixir of healing, silver staff, fly, mage armor, dispel magic, and disintegrate. Mm. Fancy, fancy. All right. Now let's look at these die cut tokens. This is interesting. This, from what I saw, on the, these, these look like walls of some sort. So, hmm. All right. Here we go. We'll get some more of the die tokens here. The shield. Hmm. Oh, hi, babe. How are you? Oh, my wife's in here. Uh, so I'm just going through die cut tokens here. There we go. This is the shield and the armor. So this is the, let's see, what is this? The ground dial. We have another wall. Looks like a gate in this one. You see that? There's an opening gate. There's the fly spell dial. You get two different dials for ground movement and for flying. The dragons have that too. The exhaustion. There's the base template. And then here are two towers. Very cool. I'm going to read on the instructions and see a little bit more on what they are. But again, I am very, very excited to be able to share this with you and let you know that the product that WizKids has produced, uh, again, surpasses so many things they've done so well um and i i don't know what else to say i really really enjoy it so i appreciate your time in viewing this uh, don't forget to subscribe to our address to who we are visit us at www.geekcp.net for our vlogs and join us on facebook and twitter uh you'll be able to follow me as well if you can find me on facebook and I run pages for the Star Trek and the D&D Attack Wing. Thank you for your time, and happy gaming. Okay, so I know I promised you earlier in the video segment that I'd show you how it works. Because you stayed to the end of the credits, kind of like how Marvel does it, you're going to get that bonus because people are going to be wondering what happened. And I'll be honest, this was an afterthought, but I figured it'd be kind of cool to do. So just show you how it works is, for those that haven't seen the other videos, of course, your little pegs have put your maneuver dials down. But after you take your base out on whichever side you're going to be placing it, figure out which side it is. For this, when you look at the plastic bases, it's always going to be the upside or the front side of the wrist is 2000, whoop, here it is, 2014 WizKids NECA. Okay, that's going to be your front. So if you can read it backwards, you just place that and that'll be your front, uh, not firing arc, but attack arc. Place that down and then you take your base and you place it right in there and you can just slip your figure right on in. Very clever how they did that. So you see how that works? There you go. And then you get your little maneuver guy and goes beep, 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 beep. There you go. So that's how you put them together. I'm sure you would be able to figure out if you bought that. But if you're still contemplating it and you're like, I wonder how that works. At least now you have some insight. So again, thank you and subscribe. Wee wee.